All right, how do we deal with whole numbers when we see them in fraction problems? We can see them in adding problems, subtracting problems, multiplying problems, or in division problems. So we need to know what to do in each of those different circumstances. Starting with addition, if you have a whole number plus a fraction, that is your simplest problem. If it is a proper fraction, then you just combine the two of them together, and now you have three wholes and five sixths. If it is an improper fraction, let's say three wholes plus seven sixths, then you would need to convert your improper fraction, change that into a mixed number. So seven sixths is actually the same thing as six sixths plus one sixth because six plus one equals seven. So I could break that down. Six divided by six really represents one whole. It's a fancy one. So you have three holes plus your fancy one hole plus one sixth left over. That would give you an answer of four and one sixth. So either way, if you have a proper fraction, you can just combine them. If you have an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number and then combine your whole numbers and tack on that fraction at the end. If you're in a subtraction problem, you have two options. Option one is to say, I have three holes and I'm trying to take away five sixths. Oh no, I don't have enough sixths to take away. What should I do? We've done this in class where we regroup. Three is actually the same as two plus one. And instead of saying two plus one hole, we can say two plus a fancy one hole. Two plus one is still three holes. I'm not changing the value of this. But now I have two and six sixths minus five sixths, which leaves me with two holes and one sixth. Always check to make sure that you don't need to simplify your fractional answer. And then you circle your answer and move along. That's one option is to regroup and only borrow one um, fancy one in terms of fractions. Your other option is to create an improper fraction that represents these whole things. Three holes is actually six sixths plus six sixths plus six sixths because that's one, two, three holes right there. So you could add them up and say six plus six plus six or six times three is eighteen sixths. Double check because that fraction bar actually represents division. Does 18 divided by 6 equal 3? Yes, it does. Okay, so this 18 over 6 actually represents 3 holes, just in an improper fraction form. Now I can bring down my minus 5 sixths. 18 minus 5 is 13 over 6. Can I simplify? No, I cannot. You can leave your answer like that, or you could convert that to a mixed number, which would equal two holes, because two holes would be 12 sixths, plus one extra, one sixth, which you'll recognize is the same answer we got in option one, because it's the same problem, three holes minus five sixths, but I just solved it in two different ways. You don't need to go back and forth between the two of them, you can pick the one that you like better and stick with that strategy. All right, now what do we do if we see a whole number in a multiplication problem? Well, when we're multiplying fractions, we need to be multiplying fractions, not fractions times whole numbers. So I need to change that three holes into a fraction. The easiest way to do that is to say, well, three divided by what number still represents three holes? If I have three, pieces and I split them into one group, there are still three pieces in that group. Three divided by one still equals three. And now I have a numerator and a denominator in both of my factors. When I multiply fractions, all I need to do is go straight across 
3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 6 is 6. Can I simplify? Yes, I can. There is a common factor of 3 in both of these. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. 6 divided by 3 is 2. That is the simplest improper fraction I have. So I can choose to leave my number as 5 halves. Or if you like it better as a mixed number, you can change that into 2 and 1 half. That is how you deal with mixed numbers in multiplication problems. Mixed numbers in division problems, same deal as multiplication. It has to be two fractions. So I would change three wholes to be three over one. Now I have two fractions. When we use keep, change, flip, we keep our first factor as is, three over one. We change our division symbol to a multiplication symbol. And we flip our second one to find the opposite, which is called the reciprocal. Now we have a multiplication problem. We already know how to solve those. We multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Check if we can simplify and we can leave that as is or change it to a mixed number. Let's see, I know that 5 times 3 is 15, so there are going to be 3 holes. 18 minus 15 leaves me with 3 fifths left over. Either of those could be your answer, depending on which one you like better. And that is how you deal with whole numbers in each of your four operation type problems with fractions.